Okay, Google, show me animals starting with S. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Google, I'm Christopher, not Dave. I want to see animals starting with S. Here is a picture of a cat. That starts with C, not S. Google, show me. Here is another kitty cat. It can be the letter K. I've drawn the letter K already too, Google. That was Kakapo. Kakapo are not kitty cats. Google wants a kitty. Google, show me an animal. Here is a tiger. Tigers are big kitty cats. That's T. I need S. T is close to S. Draw me a tiger kitty and Google will click the like button on your video. S. Google. Here is a saber-toothed tiger. Draw Google the big extinct kitty. G'day Art Adventurers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christopher and I am continuing my Alphabet Animal Art Challenge where I Google animals for each letter of the alphabet and Google tells me what animal to draw. I'm also excited to be doing my first collab video for 2019. It's with someone from The Art Room, and The Art Room is a Discord server for YouTube artists. It was founded by Hello Alice and Jellybee. I think they're the only co-founders, and I'll put the link down in the description below so you can check it out if you are also a YouTube artist. It only is for YouTubers who make art videos. And one section of that server is for doing collabs. So I put out the idea of teaming up with people during this alphabet challenge. And I've got a few different collabs for the last few letters. And the first one is with Kawaii Phantom. Kawaii Phantom is a fellow Aussie. I don't actually know her so well yet, but I'm excited to be doing the collab with her. I believe she's mostly a digital artist. And if you're interested in digital art, you can go check out her channel. I definitely know that she'll be drawing an animal starting with S. Very likely, if Google's the same with her as me, it will also be, like what I'm drawing here, a saber-toothed tiger. And so I'll put her link down in the description below and you can go check hers out and show her some love as well. That would be great. And of course, if you're a YouTube artist, why not join us in the Discord server? It's really fun to be able to chat with other artists and other YouTubers combined and to do collabs and other things together. You can see that I've just finished the pencil works for this saber-toothed tiger. I'm still weirded out that Google gave me a saber-toothed tiger for S, but there we go. It's what happened. And now I'm moving on to the materials, which is my first time creating a piece with oil pastels. This is the stuff from my sketchbox. And if you saw that video a couple of videos back, I tested and swatched out the materials, but I never created a piece of art with them until this piece. I think I actually did it the day after I swatched out the materials, but it's been taking me a while to get to editing these videos. So you're only just seeing it like a week later. Hopefully people are still interested. And these materials were really fun to work with. I don't know if you've used oil pastels before, but firstly, using any new art material for the first time is usually fun and interesting. It changes things up, it's something new. But also, I really enjoyed being able to blend them and play around with them. I'm not sure that they would be my favorite medium, but I'm also looking forward to just exploring other things with them. I actually bought a container of, or a box, a box. I also bought a box of oil pastels in my big, um, my big Black Friday haul, but I haven't used any of them yet. And so this is my first time ever trying them out. And I feel like this black pencil, past, black oil pastel pencil is really saving the day to be able to create the contrast that I need and get in the fine details that I need for creating this saber tooth tiger. Or tigers really, because there's the close up one. I really struggled with what I was going to do with the claw. You probably saw that change a few different times, but I kind of like the action pose of it reaching out and slashing towards the viewer. And there's also another saber-toothed tiger full view of it in the background. And 
I think they came out okay for quick sketches. I'm not super in love with them, but my main point here was, you know, A, have some fun and get B, get the animal done and C, um, of course, try out this new medium and see what's possible with it. And the oil pastels blended well, especially since this paper is, you know, cheap sketchbook quality. It's not designed for oil pastels, I'm sure. I think it coped really well. Thank goodness for the blending stumps. And I think, you know, it creates a decent overall effect. I'm pretty happy with, with how it turned out. And luckily, I got just the right perfect colours for this piece. This was the letter that I was actually up to when my sketchbox arrived. It's also kind of funny that I didn't just wait one animal beyond R because I forced myself to make my little rabbit for R bright orange and I could have just made a very orange piece here for the letter S and the saber-toothed tiger. I don't know if saber tooth tigers were actually orange in real life or white or some other color, but I'm making it look like a normal tiger except for the big teeth. One of the things I'm not so happy about for this piece, and it'll probably bother you if I point it out, but oh well, is that the teeth actually don't sit right, I don't think, especially the one on the right side or it's left, but if you're viewing the screen, it's right side, it seems to be curving too much. So that's a bit of a shame, but that is the letter S for Sabretooth Tiger, and I'm pretty happy with it. And so that leads us to the letter T. And Google being Google, it decided to throw me some curveballs here with firstly an orangutan, and you might be thinking, how is that possible? Orangutan is O. But this is the recently discovered and described Tapanuli orangutan, the newest of the primates and great apes to be discovered just formally last year or the year before, I think maybe 2017, which is amazing. It's in Sumat found in Sumatra in just a tiny thousand kilometer square area. But Google went a step beyond that and did something that it did once before where it showed me this Tapanuli orangutan, but it then also had a word of a different animal. And the other animal it showed me was a tang. Tang are fish. Tropical fish that come in a range of different colors. So it's more a group name. The tang are uh, a whole broad range of different fish, but I was so excited to be able to draw fish that I did what I did last time and combined the two animals together. And if you remember, that was for the letter J. I'll put that card up for you to check out if you're interested. That was for my sketchbox grab bag and I got a jackal and a jabiru bird. But this time I got a even tougher challenge, the Tapanuli orangutan and the tang fish. And I was really concerned on how I was going to pull it off or if I was just going to just have the two separate animals side by side like I did last time. But I felt like that was a bit bare for the letter J and so I wanted to try to combine them together. And I just thought it would be a cute idea if this orangutan somehow found his way down to a coral reef cove and saw the little fish swimming and got too curious to hold back and, and went and sat on a pile of coral to go and watch these little fishies, these little tang, swimming on by. And so that meant I, of course, needed to also draw a background coral reef, which is pretty complex if you want to do it properly. And I'm wanting to make these pretty quick sketches. So I did the best that I could in terms of marrying, making it look like a complete background and working quickly. I also, for some reason, decided to amp up the stakes by not just using markers and to bust out my Prismacolor pencils, my Prismacolor Premier pencils, I should say. 
And so I use those for the orangutan and I really do like the final effect. At the moment he looks completely hideous or she doesn't look good at all. And I pause at that point while I move on to the coral reef and the fish as you can see there. And I have a lot of fun making the bright different colors for the tang. I was a little bit concerned that the, the markers weren't going to be able to pull off the fish because the touch five markers bleed out sideways so much. I've said that quite a number of times, but I thought that all those defined edges would just blur together and I did and I thought I'd end up maybe with a big mess. And so to counter that for some parts I use Copic markers and I think Neopico markers as well, some other kind. Um, but mostly using my touch five markers for it. And I'm pretty happy with how it all came together there. I finish off the orangutan by doing something I've never tried before as well. And that is not only to use a blending solvent for the color pencils, I use the Holbein Melts, which I think is only available in Japan, sorry. But then I come back and I go over that color pencil with a light marker and it makes everything pop so beautifully, in my opinion anyway. I'm really pleased with the effect of it. And so that is my little surrealist maybe, or strange little story of the Tapanuli orangutan who finds himself down at the coral reef with a strategically placed fish in front of his legs, as you might have seen. And so I hope you enjoyed watching my animals for the letters S and the letters T. Don't forget to take the time to go and check out Kawaii Phantom's channel. I'm excited to see what she's doing. She hasn't actually shown me the finished piece, so I have no idea if it's digital. I think she mentioned that she might even try something traditional. I have no idea. So I'm keen to go over to her channel and check out her piece of art, and I hope that you are as well. And I hope you enjoyed watching my animals for today. Please take a moment to click like and click that little notification bell if you haven't already. And if you're here for the first time, why not click su subscribe? I would love for you to join the Art Adventurer gang. And I'll see you guys soon for another art adventure with the letters U and V. And don't forget to take your guesses down in the comments below for what you think Google will make me draw then. Google definitely went out there for these two, I think. Okay, take care. Bye.